Thanks for tuning into the program today. I'm your host, Neil Howard, here on this Health Supplier segment on Health Professional Radio. Our guest is uh, Richard and Michelle Laver. They're here to talk about Kate Farms and also to give us a little bit of background and explanation on a phenomenon or condition known as failure to thrive or FTT. Uh, imagine that you've got a son or a daughter that's been diagnosed with FTT. They've fallen significantly below their weight range for their particular age. I'll let uh, Richard and Michelle tell us much more about FTT and Kate Farms. Welcome to Health Professional Radio, both Richard and Michelle. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you both for joining us today. Um, you the both you founded Kate Farms. Um, why do you call it Kate Farms? What's it all about? Well, Neil, we started Kate Farms to uh, for our daughter Kate. So the company's named after her. Um, we were desperate parents to create uh, some weight gain in her. She was failing to thrive. At uh, five years old, she was only 16 pounds. So we created the company accidentally, really, to, out of our blender. We started blending shakes, and her health turned around so fast that we ended up feeling responsible to start a company. So you started blending these shakes. Um, did someone say, hey, put this together and that or the other, or did you do so much trial and error out of your desperation for your daughter that it just magically uh, came together for you? <laughs> yeah, you know, it's interesting in life. When you have the will uh, and you're desperate, and so for Michelle and I, uh, our daughter Kate gave us the will to do it, and so we knew we were going to succeed because we had to. So when we started this, uh, we didn't have a huge background in nutrition. I was a professional athlete, but at the end of the day, we needed to leverage all of the professionals that we could, and when a man shows up at a clinic or, and says, this is all you have and my daughter's sick, uh, and, and I really understood it was food that was making her sick, and the allergies in her body. And one, I, I got some maverick dietitians and doctors to really help us go about putting this together. So when we do this, uh, it was beyond trial and error. This was two-year endeavor. Uh, Katie immediately got well on our shakes, but we couldn't get it ready for commercial uh, application for a couple of years. It took us a long time to be able to get these, all these ingredients, about 70 ingredients, in a bottle, shelf stable, and then we spent two years making sure it tasted great. So this was an epic adventure, and I think at the end of the day, it really we hadn't succeeded a lot of other business ventures, and the reason why we succeeded is this because we didn't look at it as a business. Michelle, talk about when you first thought maybe that there was a problem. What types of uh, symptoms should other parents be looking for if they, you know, if they should encounter FTT? Well, failure. So Failure to thrive is really that. It's your, your child is not doing well. Uh, she was extremely underweight. Her hair was thin and falling out. She had circles under her eyes. She had allergies. She had a lot of phlegm uh, that she was coughing up. And she was weak, and her muscle tone was very, very low. So we knew um, that she needed to have better nutrition in her to help her brain be the best it can be, her body to do the movements that she can do, and for her muscle tone to increase. Mm -hmm. And so as a mother, um, the difference between uh, what she was on previously versus Kate Farms is that her hair now is just thick and vibrant. Her skin is glowing, and she's got a great muscle tone, and really, she's living the best life she can live at this point. So um, these products, uh, these shakes, uh, they're administered, you know, orally, or can they also be used uh, in um, convalescent homes, uh, in hospital settings if someone needs tube feeding? Are, are they uh, good for, you know, that as well? The product, most importantly, is uh, start out with it's non-GMO, they're organic, plant-based, nutrition, 28 superfoods. It's the highest antioxidant shake in the world for a ready-to-drink shake. The, what we wanted to do was give Kate the dignity of being able to uh, have a meal with us so they can be mm -hmm. administered orally 
So we worked on taste, and they could be administered through tube feeding. Our clientele, we knew that if we really wanted to create a sustainable food company, that people would be excited about our product. It would have to taste good, too, so everyone could enjoy the meal. So three-point plan is a uh, retail environment we sell in, stores like Wegmans in New York, Amazon, uh, Whole Foods, and Northern Cal, and Sprouts, and a lot of small organic stores. Uh, we sell in hospitals, um, through uh, at-home health care, and really expanding through coded insurance. So all of our shakes that are going to market in the medical arena, which is Core Essentials line and our peptide, and more products are to come, we envision redoing the entire uh, landscape of products that have been out there. And uh, so, so they can find it, and it can also be if they ask their doctor if, if it's really necessary and they're failing on other formulas, that this can be covered by insurance through coded products and delivered to your household within days. Right. You, you know, you mentioned that you weren't thinking of this endeavor as a company initially, but how many kids do you think are affected the way that Kate uh, was affected? Well, this is a, a question I can really answer pretty good now that we didn't know when we started the business. So when we started the business, uh, we needed to just uh, help what we felt was kids, a small population, and ended up uh, sending our shakes to the Super Bowl, uh, wow. where athletes drink it, for athletes. Uh, Seattle wow. Seahawks, their entire team's on it. But, you know, it's in, the, it's, it's in the millions. I mean, at the end of the day, we have a really high allergy problem in this world. It's increasing at 8% a year, and we don't know quite why. We think it's the food, source of food um, from, uh, from, from the 50s and 60s and 70s. It just was the soil and some of the mainstream big companies. Uh, so, so we have a problem with allergies, people... Uh, feeling allergic, feeling sick, having GERD. Um, and so the rise of shakes and the need for them to give full nutrition to people that, that need them is, is way beyond the grasp of what we thought it was going to be. Um, and what we really want to do is take an idea of some of these old shakes and turn it into a premium option that is uh, the best in the world. And that was, that was the idea from day one, because if I knew if I created the best for Kate, it would be good enough for everybody else. What are some of the misconceptions that uh, maybe you can clear up for us since you've been on this journey and uh, are now helping uh, other kids as well? Well, a lot of times from Kate's story, uh, we kept going back to the doctor and saying, what else is there? She relied on liquid nutrition because in Kate's case, she wasn't a super athlete at the Seattle Seahawks. She needed this for her uh, tube feeding. So a lot of the misconceptions was the dietitian just felt, let's up her calories. Let's just get Katie to have more calories. We get, if she gets more calories in her, she'll gain weight. And I read a book called The China Study, and it really talked to me about people that get severe allergies and what happens to the body when it starts to fail. The weight gain uh, is just a, a symptom of that, the weight loss, not ability to put on weight. And so a lot of dietitians and doctors will just keep switching formulas and upping the calories. And at the end of the day, this is an absorption product. If you clear away, let me just give it to you in a, in a simple term. If you take away all of the allergic properties, which is soy, dairy, nuts, and you just start with a fresh start, and you, mm -hmm. you start with non-allergic properties, and you add all these beautiful nutrients, the body will begin to heal itself. So in Kate's case, she was on 30% less calories with my shakes, and she started to take off and gain weight. She's never been sick for five years on these formulas. Kate's had two common colds because her immune system's working properly. So I think at the end of the day, to tell you really quick, Neil, is that a lot of times people have the perception that it's just calories and keeping – and then with Kate Farms, we wanted to make sure it was a performance drink, that we would give access to patients that need this, what super athletes get. And then when you give that, the absorption is so good in the body – that healing occurs. And so with failure to thrive, it just basically uh, means that what it is, you can't get out and enjoy the things you want to enjoy. You don't have the energy. You have ailments. You need medications, whether it's stomach ailments or um, autoimmune or the ability to, to fight disease and fight infection is low. But when you create a, an environment like I created with Kate Farms, Michelle and I created with the shake, 
body can heal, but more, most importantly, can perform at the highest levels. Now, Kate, let our listeners know where we can go online and get more information about Kate Farms' failure to thrive and these uh, products that, uh, that you have for us. KateFarms.com. Uh, and you can order from there or you can order from Amazon. And um, we look forward to getting some feedback and hope everybody enjoys as much as we have seen our, our Katie get better. Yeah, and also it can be delivered to your door. If you order today, it'll be there tomorrow. And, uh, yeah, exactly. Give us feedback. Uh, we, all we want to do is create the best shakes in the world. Well, I thank you both for coming in today, both uh, Michelle and Richard Laver here uh, talking about Kate Farms and Failure to Thrive. They've got some excellent products that are available online, as uh, Kate told us. And uh, also you can uh, check them out at their website at katefarms.com. Transcripts and audio of this program are available at healthprofessionalradio.com.au and also at hpr.fm. Please be sure and visit our affiliates page when you visit our platform. You can subscribe to this podcast on iTunes, listen in, and download at SoundCloud.